All right, thought I'd just share my first impressions of the Weatherflow weather station that I just got in. Uh, ordered it yesterday and it arrived today. Of course, I live in Florida, not too far away from uh, where they ship these weather flow units from. So the post office delivered it the, uh, the next day, which was uh, very pleasing to me. Um, this is going to be replacing a, an Accurite 5-in-1 weather station. Uh, the Accurite, it uh, do, does fairly well, except down here in Florida, the bugs like to crawl into it, and you got to constantly be uh, cleaning the thing out. Um, and the units seem to be have a, a lifespan of about you know 10 to 12 months is my experience. I've been through several of them, and uh, trying to get something that's going to uh, last a little bit longer than, than uh, a year. So we'll open this up. Um, probably go through the the setup also I've been waiting for them to get ready to ship these things for a year now. Um, but they're finally available. You can go on their website. I'll put the, a link to it in the, in the notes below this video. Uh, you can go to their website and um, you know, order it and they sh seem to ship them out pretty quick. So I've got a little logo on there and weather flow. It's about it for the outside. And inside, what's included in the box, you'll need to supply 12 times AA lithium batteries. We recommend Energize Ultimate Lithium, standard USB outlet, or a wall charger rated at 1 amp or more. So basically this is the uh, mounting tips, how to set the thing up. This is the main unit. It senses uh, wind direction and rain uh, rate, fall rate, and also the um, uh, rain accumulation. So this is a lot nicer. I mean, it's a lot smaller than the uh, my previous weather station. Uh, it's a lot going to be easier to place outside. Down at the bottom of it, I've got a little trap door where I see me put a bunch of batteries in there that looks to be like you'd put about eight double A batteries in there might be 12 and this is a another part of the system that you can remote uh, uh, mount it remotely from the main unit there. This um, is for temperature. Uh, let's see, temperature, and I think this has lightning strike on it also. Um, and probably humidity barometric pressure in this one, I would think. This appears to be the receiving unit that you would, uh, at least I'm going to keep mine inside as it will uh, pick up the signals from the other two that are outside. And basically the, the mount for this guy. So this looks like, a, I don't know, maybe three-quarter, maybe one inch pipe. This thing will just screw on there, pinch down on the pipe, and that's how you mount it. And when you need to take it off to replace the batteries, you just give it a, a partial turn there and it comes loose. And what else do we have in here? And they sent a USB cable. 
Now, that said, I'm a little surprised that you've got to provide your own power source for the receiver. Um, you got to think with the uh, unit of this price, you would at least get that. Those things are not that expensive, and it's a, just a pain in the butt to have to go get something else if you're wanting to get set up quickly. So that's basically the unpacking part. I'll bring you back when I'm ready to uh, start setting the thing up. Okay, I thought I'd just bring you out and show you the install of my uh, latest um, weather station. I got my Accurate 5-in-1 uh, weather station still mounted on the uh, same pole it's always been mounted on. Um, been through several of those and this is actually a mount for a five and one I uh, mounted the um, I can't remember the name of this one yet um, but uh, the diameter was a little bit uh, smaller than what needed for this I just wrapped some duct tape around it um, and it seemed to work pretty well uh, put a couple of alignment marks on here once I uh, aligned it with the uh, compass on my phone couple line marks there um, and obviously to uh, get it off from there you, you twist the top and let me show you one of the things that uh, I noticed is that when you're putting the batteries into the sky unit all of the batteries go the same direction so you got four here and then four the exact same direction down below the where you see that is the, the little plus signs and probably won't be able to focus on this but there's little plus signs on the uh, back side of the door there that was a little bit uh, hard to uh, find out they do have that in instructions uh, so anyways that that works pretty good there um, I'll take you next to show you where the um, where the uh, air uh, unit is all right, my air unit is up near a second story window, right beside a second story window. It's pretty well protected from uh, the elements up there. And I can also open up that window and pull the screen out relatively easily so when it needs new batteries, it's not a big deal to uh, change those things out. Another issue I had is I could not get the base of the air to uh, come off so I could put the batteries in the, uh, the air unit. What I finally ended up doing is I um, went out to my workshop and I've got a vise out there. I've got the uh, jaws turned around so it's a smooth surface so it won't scuff the thing up. Put it in there and it was good enough to, to hold it so I could uh, take the base of it off. After working it a few times, uh, it's loosened up some now. You know, it's still a little bit uh, tight getting in and off in there, but at least I'm able to do that now. I use the uh, bracket that Weatherflow recommended in their instructions. Worked out very nicely. It was easy to install um, close to my window, and it's easy to get the uh, Weatherflow air on and off from it. I'll put a, a link or the Amazon web page uh, in the video and here's what it looks like when it's installed 